This is, without a doubt, the sexiest calculator I have ever seen. You know you're fucked when you get two Windows Defender needs to scan your computer warnings in the last half hour. Maybe you need to scan your attitude, Windows. Did you ever think about that, hmm? Search for hentai. Oh, restart has been scheduled. Good. All right. How about no? It is now time for the most dramatic, most heart-pounding, and over-the-top Windows 10 installation in history. On a Mac. And by dramatic, I mean no drama at all. It should be simple. One, two, three, boom, done, and then we can look at the new features and have fun. Wait a minute, how did that get there? Wait, something's wrong. Hang on. How did that get there? Here's where my gaffer's tape went. Oh, and my gun! Oh, <laughs> and and my wallet. Oh, Wario-Ku, you don't know how to stand still, do you? Anyway, yes, uh, oh, and this will be with us as well. We're probably going to need it. We will now commence the most difficult part of the installation process, the power-up procedure. Now, for your own safety, I don't recommend using your finger to turn on the computer. It could cause a blister. Instead, use a handgun, a concealed carry weapon, something, something safe, and just... Lightly press that button, like so. Ah, listen to that sound. And I'm going to hold down the option key, and I missed it. Oh, boy. All right, we got Windows in the boot picker, and return. Or for you bloody PC foreigners, enter. Huh, the Windows logo looks like a window. I never picked up on that. All right, so here we are at the Windows 10 desktop. I should be able to simply open up Start and go to settings. Next we will go to update and security. We couldn't install some updates because the PC was turned off. Yes, that probably did happen in the past. So we're gonna hit retry and checking. Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic. All right, all right. It looks like it's actually in the middle of downloading it right now. Okay, so it is downloading updates. Now, while stuff like this runs, I typically watch a movie. For example, I have Liam Neeson in Taken right to my left on an iPad. But I can't show it because I don't want to get taken down by the popo again. But I am curious, what do you guys do while you're waiting for longer software updates to install? Take a shower, take a shit, shower a shit. What do you do? I'm curious. Let me know. It's so close to getting done, I can almost taste it. <laughs> Boy, this yellow popsicle hits the spot. Well, it's at 23% now. Hopefully this gets done rather soon. It's going pretty smooth so far. You know, I'm not used to that for a Crazy Ken episode. Especially after that whole SSD debacle. I don't even know if that's over yet. I can't even say if it was an SSD debacle. Preparing to install 100%. All right, what's going to happen next? Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, restart has been scheduled. Good. All right. How about no? Let's do this. If I can navigate the cursor. Yeah. You can do it. I believe in you. I now give you the most artistic composition of a restarting screen ever composed by man. Who am I kidding? I'm not a man. More like a box turtle. Do not turn off your computer. So should I turn off the computer just to screw this up and make the video longer? Vote now on your phones. All right, the computer's rebooting. Let's go to the boot picker, back to Windows, and pray that everything's all right. Elegance is nice. It's clean. It's good. Yes. Enjoy the feng shui of the installer. All right, it restarted again. I believe it is done. Let's see what happens. Black screen. Good. We're done. There we are. All right, let's unlock. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, that's new. It slides the overlay instead of the whole image now. Okay, that's pretty slick. Nice little touch there. All right, let's see. Slide up. Or just click. Ooh. New animations. Okay, I am a sucker for that shit. Seriously. You could just make an all-new operating system with new animations and no other new features, and I'd be okay. Hi! How are you doing? I'm great. We've updated your PC. Well, thank you. It's a Mac, though, so don't get ahead of yourself. Getting things ready. Please don't turn off your PC. Again, I am very tempted to any time it says that. And um, the taskbar is up there. That's interesting. I usually don't see the taskbar while that's doing that. Let's start and 
bam, there we are. Updates were installed. You bet they were. All right, let's take a look around the new system. The best new feature so far is that you now get a number indicator badge on the action center telling you the number of notifications. All right. That is fantastic. That is the best feature. I think we can actually settle for that. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, the star menu is a little different. Pretty nice. It shows the recently added right there and then the alphabetical order. Still got my little icons down here. And when you click it, it expands everything. I'm not sure what the purpose of expanding is besides showing the labels next to the icons. Uh, I had some arrows that showed up there a while ago. I think those are just the scrolly things. Yeah, so not quite sure what purpose that serves, but hey, it's different, I guess. Huh. Were there icons next to the sidebar contents before? Is that new? Or was that already in there? I don't even remember. But then again, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast this morning. Uh, Smirnoff. That's what it was. Yeah. I know Computer Clan member Brent is just gonna hate me for this, but I think this is the most important feature in the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. Dark Mode Apps! I am a sucker. I have a fetish for dark modes. Everybody who knows me knows that. That's maybe not very healthy. Now that is freaking beautiful. This is, without a doubt, the sexiest calculator I have ever seen. All right, Edge is getting extensions. That's nice, very nice. Now, I really can't show anything with the inking settings because I don't have hardware to do that. I don't know, I do have a Cintiq, but I mainly use that in OS X. And I know there's some other great Xbox features as well with this update to Windows 10, but I don't own an Xbox, so I'm really limiting myself here. Keeping the bar low, that's good. Set expectations low, you won't get disappointed. You know you're fucked when you get two Windows Defender needs to scan your computer warnings in the last half hour. Maybe you need to scan your attitude windows. Did you ever think about that, hmm? If this was a touchscreen, I would tap you until you die. Of course, it wouldn't be a modern operating system demo without using some kind of AI technology. Since Siri couldn't do it in the other video, let's see if Cortana can do it. <laughs> Cortana, do a Bing search for hentai. Huh, it actually entered in the search query, do a Bing search for hentai with a question mark. Not off to a good start. <laughs> Related searches. Okay, this is good. Um, do a search for cats. All right. I'm going to give you one more shot, repurposed Halo technology. Search for hentai. These images contain adult content. Well, no shit. I actually didn't know Bing did censoring like that. That is uh, quite interesting. Well, hopefully there wasn't anyone too young watching this video. In fact, if you're under 13, you probably shouldn't be using YouTube anyway, because I think you're under the age of internet consent, at least in the United States of America. So, that was lots of fun. Windows 10 does have a lot of cool new features that I really can't use because of my hardware limitations, but some other things are pretty, and the dark mode is something I like. I personally don't use Windows enough to really justify the update, but I wanted to do it anyway. But hey, dark modes! Just so there's some more educational content out of this video, there are some other features I do know of in Windows 10 Anniversary Update. For example, Bash integration. An activation troubleshooter, yes, because that's a feature that still needs to be there. It has caused nothing but problems. It's like an airbag. It causes more problems than it solves. I believe you can now pin Windows to virtual desktops. Windows Hello can now be integrated into apps and websites. That's the NSA face scanning feature. And probably some other things. So, if you are on Windows 10 right now, you can update for free. Let me know if you plan to upgrade. And actually, also let me know what your favorite part of the Windows 10 anniversary update is. All right, ladies and bipeds, that is it for this episode of Crazy Ken. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like down below to help feed my family. And feel free to share anything you like about the Windows 10 Anniversary Update as stated earlier. But for now, we actually had a happy ending. That doesn't happen much on the show. Treasure it forever. Or at least until the next episode. I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Hey guys, if you want to get some more laughs out of us, I recommend Ken Cinema of Shenanigans. Just click here.
but I also recommend one of our great cosplay music videos. To watch one, just click here.